we present the results of research evaluating corneal sensation and signs and symptoms of dry eye in eyes receiving either a 30 degree or a 140 degree reverse side cut in bilateral femtosecond flat formation with LASIK. Previous research has shown the inverted Bevelin reverse side cut angle to provide better wound healing, enhanced biomechanical stability and increased flap adhesion postoperatively. The basic neurosurgical premise of repairing a severed nerve is to optimise the apposition of the two sides of the severed nerve. The cornea is one of the most densely innovated and highly sensitive tissues in the body. Corneal sensation is vital for maintaining corneal epithelial integrity. The long ciliary nerve trunk branches several times before entering the cornea at the limbus. The large nerves enter the limbus predominantly at the 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock positions. The nerves initially enter the cornea in the middle third of the stroma but course anteriorly as they branch, eventually becoming a plexus in the subbomen's layer that densely innervates the central cornea. Corneal sensation is decreased after LASIK and PRK, with return of function generally occurring over a three to six month period. In vivo, in vivo confocal microscopy has shown that LASIK induced alterations in subbomen's nerve plexus are directly related to decreased corneal sensation. It has also been shown that corneal sensation after LASIK is greatest near the hinge and decreases towards the central cornea and the peripheral cornea away from the hinge. We looked at a 30 degree side cut as an exaggeration of the side cut angle that we used to generate with the older generation intralase technology. It was also used to simulate the side cut angle that might be expected with a microkeratome. We postulate that the 30 degree side cut may not bed down quite perfectly and allow for some slippage at the flap interface with a result in increased distance that the nerves need to travel in order to connect and regenerate and provide return of sensation following LASIK. We compared this to the 140 degree bevel in reverse side cut possible with IFS technology. We postulate that with this side cut angle and consequent flat morphology, there is a greater degree of adhesion and approximation of the flap edge following flap lift and replacement after LASIK. We therefore postulate that in eyes receiving the reverse side cut, there is less distance for the nerves to travel in order to regenerate and allow a return of sensation following LASIK. The purpose of the study was to evaluate signs and symptoms of dry eye as well as corneal sensation following LASIK. We performed a multi-center randomized observer mast paired comparison trial with 49 patients. All flaps were cut with the same size and shape. The uncorrected visual acuity at day 180 was significantly better in the 140 degree side cut group. The change in best corrected visual acuity also showed more lines gained and less lines lost in the reverse side cut group. Corneal sensation at month six was significantly better in three out of five areas on the cornea in the 140 degree side cut group. Fluorescein central staining was significantly more pronounced in the 30 degree side cut group at day 90 and day 180.
we also showed a statistically significantly greater mean score in Shermer testing for the 140 degree side cut group and a greater mean score of tear breakup in the 140 degree side cut group. In conclusion, the reverse side cut improves flap stability, reduces flap gutter, improves severed nerve apposition, and results in fewer signs and symptoms of dry eye with greater improvement in visual acuity.